All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So we need to pop test these diesel injectors off of this old Yamaha tractor we've been rebuilding because I'm sure they're messed up. We need to get in there and check them just like the rest of the tractor. So let's build a DIY diesel injector pop tester. Check it out. All right, guys, so we need to pop test these diesel injectors. These are Yamaha injectors. And um, we need to make sure that they're opening at the right PSI. And we got some new shims and make sure the springs aren't worn out in there. No one does this locally, so I'm going to have to make my own DIY pop tester. So when we put them back in the engine, that they'll run uh, flawlessly and won't dribble diesel out and, you know, cause us any problems. It's the last piece that I haven't tuned yet. All right, so I got this cheap bottle jack on Amazon. You can see it's a four-ton capacity, a nice oil fill gauge up there, my EMR injector I'm testing a pack of uh, Yanmar shims, and um, we need to put this thing together. I'll put links in the description where y'all can get all this stuff on Amazon if you wanna try to build one of these for yourself. You can see this oil fill gauge goes up to 6,000 PSI. We need these things to pop at like 2250, 2275, something like that, whatever the service manual says. So we need a gauge that can go high enough. We gotta take this thing apart and rig it up so that we can hook that injector right in there like that so we can read the PSI and uh, we need to drain the oil out of here, fill it with diesel and do a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get to modding this thing. We need to drain the oil up out of this jack. We don't need this piston anymore, it's no good. So you can see the setup right here. I got a three quarter inch reducer, quarter inch nipple, quarter inch T, quarter inch nipple, and then quarter inch to the gauge. These are all 4,000 PSI rated fittings. They're hydraulic fittings. The brass isn't, but it's all I could find locally. Let's see if it'll work. It's getting welded on there like that. We got to plug that hole. Hole tapped and plugged and screw cut flush. Sealed up. I'm a JB Weld in here too, just to help it seal better. Oh, that sealed up great overnight. And we need to look down in here and see if there's any other holes we need to plug. But let's get this thing welded up. It's got a tiny little pinhole right there. We need to JB weld it from the inside or else it'll leak down on us and it won't build pressure. That boy ain't gonna leak. Not bad. We gotta take this thing apart and degrease it. We gotta make sure there's not a speck of dirt in here and no little metal BBs or anything can get in there because if it does, it'll ruin the injector. So let's get it cleaned up. Fresh filtered diesel. We can top it off like this. Finding threads for these injectors can be a real pain. This is 14 times 1.5 millimeters. It screws on this quarter inch MPT just fine. Let's see if it'll work. You can see I have the injector taken apart now. See the surface right here? That's supposed to be perfectly shiny, perfectly flat, perfectly machined, and it's not. It's got pitting and stuff on here, and it's not gonna seal well. Right here, these two surfaces seal together like this when the injector's together, and they're precisely ground together, and that's what makes them seal. So if they're not perfectly flat and ground together, it won't seal very well. So we need to regrind these with some thousand grit sandpaper. And this needle, it slides in here well because I cleaned it before, so that's good. But we really need to grind these and get these uh, polished back so they will seal, because if they don't, it will leak diesel and the thing won't run right. So let's get them polished up. I got some 1500 grit right here. We're just gonna go in circles. Um, until we get this thing back how it's supposed to be in figure eight and we got to keep that thing perfectly flat and we want it on this glass so that uh it's perfectly flat if not it's gonna not run right you can see it doesn't take much we need to grind this and take the needle out and grind this this one's smooth no more marks this one's smooth no more marks they'll seal just right Perfect. Right at about 2300. Keep your hands away from that thing. Here's an example of a bad one. It's not even going to a thousand. We need to shim it. New shims. You got to measure them, put them where the manual says. 0.1 millimeters goes 100 to 142 PSI. You stack them in the top of the injector. It's good now.
Back in the tractor. Man, that's looking good, guys. You're gonna have to subscribe for the next video when we start this thing. I got a little bit more tuning up to do. Alright guys, lessons learned. So the welds sprung a leak. Just little pinhole leaks, because I don't have that good a welder. So if I was gonna do this again, I would get a huge pipe tap and tap the top of the jack and then screw the fitting in there. That way it can't leak. Uh, the JB weld sprung a leak too. That didn't help that much. Other than that, it got the job done for us. So if you're going to do this, get a giant pipe tap and tap it. Don't weld it unless you have a really good welder. I'm satisfied with how it worked. Um, I'll put links in the description to all the supplies you need to do this. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more Yamar yeah, vids in the future. Don't forget to drop me a huge thumbs up if this helped you and comment and let me know what you think. I'll check you out on the next one. Peace.